This is Johnny Vedmore on today's News Talk. TNT. TNT. So who gets held to account if they do prove that there was uh, election fraud? Who Who is actually responsible for all of this and for organizing such um, uh, a debacle? Well, so that's another problem that we have right now. Uh, and, and this is also taking place in Georgia is the, these entities, they get caught, you know, with their quote unquote hand in the cookie jar. Or they get caught, you know, breaking the election law and all they get is a slap on the wrist. They get what's called a, a consent agreement or a consent decree or a consent order. And basically they just have to say, well, we did it. It was an accident. We won't do it again. And that's all there is to it. I mean, we're talking about uh, you know, the, the signature verification to what I was saying, uh, it also the same exact thing happened in the January 5th runoff. So you're now talking not just because the presidency wouldn't have been swung just by Georgia alone. However, the U.S. Senate would have been because you had uh, Warnock and um, and um, oh, man, it's escaping my head for a moment. But you had the race between Warnock and Purdue and Leffler. And uh, I can't remember the de Democrat senator it's escaping my mind, but you had two Democrat senators that were elected out of Georgia in the 2020 election and the 2021 January 5th runoff. Neither one of those had signatures verified in Fulton County, the most populous Democrat stronghold. And uh, I, that's control of the Senate. It's, it's a plus two majority right now in the Senate. That was literally control of U.S. Senate in that election. You know, these things are literally um, life and death for some people because, of course, that means that uh, the Ukraine and Israel bill could be put through. Uh, I mean, it was going to probably go through anyway. Well, it's, so with all of with all of this clear misbehavior, did if they were to look at all of the um, election process around the country during 2020 do you think they'd find the same sort of anomalies in different uh, states other than georgia oh yeah absolutely we've we've been documenting a lot of these anomalies um throughout the entire uh since 2020 uh pennsylvania michigan arizona georgia florida um there, there, there's a lot of discrepancies texas had a lot of discrepancies um, you know, and the problem is, is that nobody in the mainstream media will cover any of these. It's always a cover up. They just run the typical headline, safest election ever. No evidence, false claims. Uh, they continue to run that stuff. I mean, I've broken stories in Texas where the Democratic National Committee president who was running for Tarrant County judge in Texas, uh, one of the largest counties in Texas, uh, was was caught on or had somebody that was caught on a uh, police body cam saying that this woman uh, was paying me to ballot harvest for her, uh, you know, and and the guy was arrested for ballot harvesting. He was convicted of ballot harvesting. And the woman that he accused, her aide went and bailed him out of prison. So, I mean, there's there's obviously a connection there. But after I broke that story back in 2022, after I broke that story, they said it's past the statute of limitations. There's no, nothing we can do. And of course, that woman went out and, and generally in a roundabout way called me a racist because she's black. Talk that matters. Johnny Vetmore on today's News Talk TNT.